Hi, this is Stephen Brower. Uh, in this video, I want to show how you can manually add the compile and run options uh, into TextPad. Uh, what I just did on my computer uh, moments ago is I removed the Java I had, I reinstalled, and I just want to show that um, the current version of Java that I now have in this machine, I do have the JDK, which is the um, uh, version 7, update 7, and during the installation of the SDK, it installed the uh, runtime environment, the JRE7, uh, as well. Um, so I did the install. I had checked my path. Let me just go and show the checking of the path. Advanced system settings. Oops, environment variables. Um, now, when I did the installation of the JDK, um, of the JDK, this at the end was not part of the path. So I manually added the path, um, and, and actually, I, I'm saying manually added. I did a, a slight little cheat from Windows Explorer. Um, well, let me show you what I did from, from Windows Explorer. Um, I actually went down into the bin folder. Whoops, okay. And when I click up here, it sort of gives us the short uh, version of it. Copy. And then I was able to go into uh, the environment variable and then I paste it. Okay, so, but my, my path is set. Uh, when I then did the uh, download of the, the text pad and the installation, I actually did have my options. Now, what I did for the purposes of this video, I removed them. So I'm going to manually add the uh, compile and run uh, for, for TextPad. Okay. So configure and then preferences. And then at the bottom here for tools, I'm going to click add and I'm going to do DOS program. I'm sorry, uh, DOS command. Uh, okay. So the, what I want to do is in terms of the compile, so the Java C, and when we do a compile, we want it to actually take the entire file name. So we're going to use file name, dollar sign file name, and this is sort of a, a variable within TextPad saying that um, whatever file we're cur is currently open, that's what you want to pass the whole name, in this case, to uh, Java C, uh, which is the compiler. Um, now that this is right here, this is how it would look on the, the toolbar, but I wanted to say instead compile Java. So what I'm going to do is um, I do a, did a gentle click there, and I'm going to change the name to compile Java. I also want to add the run Java application, so add DOS command. So Java is the runtime, is the JVM, and However, this time, when we run a Java program, we, we're not going to actually say the file name class. We only want the file name. So base name here, whatever file we have open, it sends the stuff before the period. So in other words, if I have open hello world.java, then hello world is what is being sent to Java. It makes the assumption that it's a, a, a class file. Okay, so again, I'm going to go and rename this. So I'll call it run. Java application. All right, and I'm going to click apply. Now I want to go and check the settings. So in the lower left here, tools, uh, when I click on compile Java, I see here, well, capturing the output is fine. That means in the tool output down here, we'll get either com com command completed successfully or we're going to get the um, error messages. The run Java application, this is going to sound weird, I'm going to deselect the capture output. When the capture output is actually selected, you can't get, you can't do input in terms of text pad. Why? I don't know. He's on third. All right, so apply. Okay. So what I should have now is at least just visually, I see there's the compile and the run. Um, and so now what I want to do is I just want to test uh, to make sure that this is working. So let me go and open a, uh, a demo program that I have. Uh, demo. 
Uh, I'll take chapter two. We'll take simple. Okay. So tools, external tools, compile Java. Tool completed successfully. Tools, external tools, run Java application. Oops. Programming is great fun, especially when TextPad works. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I did is I did configure preferences is, is what I had started. Um, and from tools, I did click add and I did DOS command. For the first one, actually if we take a peek here, we can see what we typed in. So for compile Java, it's Java C and then it's dollar sign file name. Um, and then for the second one, it's Java and dollar sign base name. <laughs> my alarms. Sorry for all the distractions. Um, anyway, so that is how you can manually add the, um, the, the Java. If when you manually add them in, if you go to compile and it comes back and says it can't find the program, that means your path is set incorrectly. And you have to go back to the control panel and double check to make sure that the path includes um, the, uh, the directory, the bin directory where Java is. All right. Uh, well, I hope that worked, and uh, happy coding. Bye. Where's the button? Oh, there it is. <laughs>